Hey, welcome back. I kind of always had this burning question. How bad can you mess up a torque wrench and still be good? When I picked myself up a uh, Pittsburgh Pro, because I'm a pro. Low budget, high quality film here. Stuff we don't need. So this is a Pittsburgh, this is a half inch torque wrench. These are going on sale right now. I got this bad boy cheap. I think the reason why is they're getting rid of Pittsburgh, maybe stick with Icon or Quinn or whatever they're trying to do over there at the, the Harbor Freight. First thing we want to do is want to make sure that it is accurate. So we have something we're actually uh, making sure we're accurate with. So we're going to put this over to our little torque tester machine and we'll hook this bad boy up. I'll put it to 100 foot pounds and see what we get. So for the sake of this video, this is the, uh, the half inch Pittsburgh. We're gonna go ahead and set this to uh, 100 foot pounds. This is not exactly the highest quality torque wrench. It feels a little cheap because it is cheap and there's nothing wrong with that. There's probably nothing wrong with this torque wrench. It'll do you just fine. All right, so I got the sucker to 100. Okay, first test, 100 foot pounds. 99, that's close enough. So at least we're nowhere 100. Oh, it's two pages. Look at that. Look at that. The length, it's 18 inches. Accuracy right there, 4%. Let's go and disassemble this thing a little bit so we know what we're dealing with and how this thing's actually gonna break. Aha, almost lost it. Pull that off, there goes the head. Should be a spring, yep, spring and a channel head. So how this thing actually operates is the click style torque wrench. It is usually actual pivot point. Here's your head. Everything's gonna pivot off of this. You have your spring set up in there, just like that. You have a cap with a detent ball. And that sits in there just like that with a spring. As the spring pressure comes in this way, you put pressure on the head way up here and it's going to click over like that. And that click sound is actually it touching the side here. And that's it, that's a click style torque wrench. Um, the real question is, is how much abuse can it take? Uh, so follow me, we'll put this thing back together and uh, we'll start doing some demonstrations. <laughs> So first things first, stick that in there. Uh, put that in there. Put the head in there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Now they disassembled it and got all greasy. Let's go and measure, see if we get a number. 99, I think we nailed it. Let's beat it up. All right, that's, that's pretty good. Did some good damage. I didn't even do damage. This is my vice. I fuck my vice up more. It's not gonna like us. Okay. Okay, now that I bashed it like a nail. 101. Oh, we're there. We're still within our 4%. I'd still use it on somebody else's car. And now we're gonna run over it. Been ran over. Let's see what 100 foot pounds looks like. 98. All right, so the real test is gonna be is I'm gonna chuck this thing how far I can throw. Ready? Still 100. So I determined that this thing's still fine. You could drop this thing a thousand times. You could bash it up pretty good. The one thing I don't think they could last is if I bash it on the shaft here. So I'm gonna give it some good wax. And uh, let's see if we can finish this thing off. All right, now that we're bent, let's see what we got. You can see a ding there, see a ding there, a ding there, and a ding way up there by the pin. So let's give it a shot now. You gotta be kidding me. That's within 4%. Can you drop your torque wrench and it uh, survive? Yes. All right, some more. Let's see what I'll do. Finally, maybe we finished it off. All right, here we go. One bent torque wrench. Nope, no good. Let's see if we can bend it back. 
Looks a little straighter. You kidding me? Look at this thing. Bent, bashed, bruised. Can't believe it. I mean, look at that. It's bent. 101. A hundred, that's within 4%. There we go. <laughs> Maybe he's got a shot. Still clicks. A little high. So I sure hope I answered your question. Can you drop a torque wrench and be accurate? Yes. Can you run over it? Yes. Can you throw it down the road? Yes. Can you bash it? Yes. Can you bend it? No. But can you bend it back and work? Yeah, still work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video. Fuck yeah. Anybody want a free tool? I wonder if they'll warrant you.